It's Indian summer here in the state of Iowa. Temperature kickoff time, 75 degrees. A sellout of 67,000 plus for this 40th meeting between Iowa and Michigan. Shut up quickly. Mike Saunders is back deep. Peter Marciano joins him for the Hawkeyes. The Hawkeyes 3-2-1, Michigan 3-2. There are four teams in the Big Ten at the start of the day who are without a loss in conference play. Gillette had a big week last week against Michigan State. Kicks off. Saunders, freshman out of Wisconsin, will not bring it out. And at the 20-yard line, the Hawkeyes will set it up. The top-ranked passing team of the Big Ten, and Chuck Hartley is the man who had a brilliant game last week. Hudson, the fullback, Stewart, Balloon, and Harvard are the wideouts. The offensive line now starting to get healthy. Bill Anderson is back at center. Bob Cratch, an outstanding tackle on the left-hand side. You feel, Dick Vermeil, Iowa has a very good game plan. You still have to execute. So from the first snap, they'll go to the spread or the shotgun. Hartley back on first down to throw, trying to set up the screen. He's got it off to Hudson, the fullback. He's up to the 24-25 for a gain of five. Again, Hartley will go from the shotgun. Looks like he's trying to set a screen to the near side. He does to Hudson. Hudson has a first down across the 35, 40, and a big fullback. Pounds it out to the 43. An 18-yard pickup up to the 43. Hartley straight back. Pressure coming up the middle from White. Incomplete. Marv Cook, the tight end. He had 297 yards passing. Second down, 10. Hartley, deep drop. Has time to throw. Beautiful protection. Far side. Catch is made by Cook. You can see why they're glad to have the big tight end back. That was a difficult catch. Harbert, Watkins, the wideouts, along with Sean Smith. Back to throw, Hartley. Near side, it's Cook again. He's got the first down to the 40. Breaks tackles the 35. Knocked out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Fun to play at 26 yards. First down now to the 27 of Michigan. Hartley on the delayed handoff to Stewart. And Stewart did his first carry of the afternoon. Inside the 25, the 22-yard line by the Iowa Hawkeyes. They've been in the airways all the way. Second down now. Hand off to Hudson, the fullback to the 15. First down to the 10. He is to the 5 and out of bounds there. First and goal, Iowa. So let's see if this is going to stand. It will not. It's going to be holding against Iowa. Well, all-time rushing list. Hartley this time has Harberts and Sean Spence split out. Notes of him audibly. Hartley straight back on the 2nd and 15. Cook, and Cook at the 28 is downed instantly by Veda Murray. Third down, 10 now for the Hawkeyes. Hardly. Complete for Watkins. Watkins goes out of bounds. He'll be short of the first down. So Matt, chances are he's going to hit it. Matt Rogers to attempt it, or to hold it, and from 39 yards out, the no, ball is bearing to the he left, it. and he does not get it. So Skillet, after being so successful last week, did not hit that one well at all. It's the game you'll see here on ABC. So after the missed 39-yard field goal, Michael Taylor on a quarterback draw tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about all he gets is Jeff Keppel was there to make the stop. Michael Taylor, the junior quarterback who started every game for the Wolverines, gets on the delayed handoff. No place to go for Tony Bowles as Dave Haight who Iowa simply says is the finest defensive lineman of the country was there. Let's look at that defense of Iowa. Leads the Big Ten in scoring defense. Mott leads the Big Ten in sacks. Keppel, Haight, Johnson, Burke. Very active, a rangy forward wall. Riley and Quas, who's just been superb. And then back deep, Smiley Hank Stoops, whose father passed away this week, playing with a heavy heart in this game. And Gary Clark at the free safety. 11 yards to go. Callaway goes in motion for the Wolverines. Taylor, pressure. He is going to be dropped. Jim Johnson, Joe Mott were there, and I mean in a hurry. 40-yard line going in, and that's why he went with this fake punt. Gillette, who's punting as well as place kicking, back from his own end zone, hits it. Peter Marciano was way deep, now waits for the ball to roll to him, comes up and grabs it at the 40, and he's dropped by David Arnold instantaneously. Their first series did not materialize well at all. Watkins and Harvard split out. Tony Stewart. Stewart slammed down after maybe a yard game. Mike virtually 10 yards to go for Hartley and the Iowa Hawkeyes. No score. Hartley back. Far side. 
dropped momentarily caught by Stewart. Six of eight for 64 yards now for Hartley. Third down, 10 from the 40. They only cut 26 yard gain on the play. First down, just inside the 35. Pitch comes back to Stewart, and Stewart got back to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. Harvard split out. Hartley has Stewart and Hudson behind him. Pressure coming, gets it off to Cook again. Cook to the 30 and able to advance to the 28 yard line. He'll trying to put the pressure on Hartley. Third down now, still almost five to go. Hartley sets up again, scrambling around, chased by Brent White. Flushed down the pocket, takes a big hit as he releases the ball. The catch is made by Sean Smith. Well, he threw for 362, like you said last year, 63% complete. First He's better down. than that right now. Iowa inside the 25. Here is Smith, Sean Smith, the junior college transfer from El Camino, California. 10 yard line, first and 15, 558 to go in the first quarter. Hartley falls down. There's a penalty flag as well. Parallel out of the line of scrimmage. Illegal procedure again. What he does to go. Hartley again to throw. Pressure coming from Messner. Throws it to the man and he's faced to Hudson at the 30 and Hudson drops it to 27. Trip Welburn up to make the stop for Michigan. And again, Hartley just showing his escape ability. He had some real pressure coming. Able to ad lib, get some additional time. But let, let me say this in regard and credit to the offensive coaching staff at Iowa. That is not always ad lib. He is totally aware where his outlets are. So it's tough to sack him. When he knows he has so much time to, to execute the pattern call, if they run out of time, he knows where to get the ball outlet-wise. Michigan can't get the football. Three plays netted a minus 12 yards earlier. Third and 13 now for the Hawkeyes. Hartley hit as he releases the ball, caught by Harvard. Harvard has a first and goal. Michigan has had only three snaps. All of it's in Iowa in the first quarter. Here's Hudson, and he may have gotten a yard, giving a yard at best as he's to the five. Messner led the charge defensively. 55-pound category. This time Hartley on a second and goal, rolling out, has Cook in the end zone. Touchdown, Iowa! His first touchdown catch of the year. You're going to notice the action, Gary, to the right, pulled the linebackers over to their right. That opened up that little area that Cook could find. Point after attempt by Skillet is on the way, and Iowa has a 7 0 lead. All Big Ten academic caliber student. This guy is a fine student, so he can really comprehend everything you can get him as a coach. This will be Tony Bowles for Michigan. He's got a hole, and he's going to get across the 25 to the 27. First down now, the line of scrimmage, the 28-yard line. Taylor getting off to the fullback, Leroy Horde. Here injury-wise for the Hawkeyes. Second down, eight yards to go, just across the 30-yard line. Taylor wanting to throw. On target to McMurtry, he spins for the first down, he's to the 45. Big 10, completing that pass, 15-yard gain to the 45. 7-0, Iowa. Here's Bowl. Bowl goes for five as he makes it to the 50-yard line. Break Jamie Morris's record. Yeah, he'll at that pace he will. Colazar, Callaway split out on a second down and five, and Bowles has the first down. He first to the 30, 25 to the 22. The enemy. First down, 15. McMurtry and Callaway split out. Seven nothing, Iowa. Taylor on a delayed handoff to Bowles. Bounces into trouble, tries to go wide, and he's going nowhere. Want to do? See with a running style attack, where you're chewing up yard. McMurtry split to the near side. Taylor needs a big play. 30 yards away for the first down. Sets up the screen to Bowles. Bowles gets a block from Colasar. He is to the 36 and out there. First quarter. Bowles goes in motion. Taylor looking that way. 
Up the middle, Kolazar can't get to him. Good coverage that time. Quarterback draw as much as any other draw. That's Callaway in motion. McMurtry and Kolazar split out. Taylor shovels forward to Horde, the fullback, and Horde fighting inside the 30 all the way to the 26-yard line. But field goal attempt, 43 yards away is Gillette. Gillette He's is 6 of 11 this year, and the kick is up, and the kick is good. Half last week. And it's played well here in quarter number one with 10 seconds remaining in it. Hardly. To Hudson. And Hudson has a first down out to the 32. The advantage 7-3. They have a first down at their own 32-yard line. Hartley begins stumbling as he comes out from center. Travis Watkins can't hang on at the 45. Over last week. Aiden Fry's club now is a second and ten. Hartley on a little delayed handoff to Stewart, and that fooled nobody. Team now. Hartley going to be stopped again, and now Michigan starting to put some pressure on. The quickness coming from that position. Back to punt the football, Mark Adams. This has not been a good area for Iowa. He hits this one. Colazar is back for the Wolverines. Inside the 30, lets it hit. And Iowa was getting a generous bounce. It's going to go out of bounds at the 21-yard line. The eye formation backfield. Coles is the running back along with Horde. Down away in motion. Taylor, that looks like a busted play. It was a broken play. It's a three, second and 13. Coles goes in motion. Taylor sets up at the 10. Outside and trying to make the catch is Bowles. He could not put out. In motion comes Callaway. Backside pressure coming. Taylor in trouble. He gets away from Mott and then help arrive. But Mott was there first. Keppel helped finish him off. Did Joe Mott come catapulted off of that line? But up front by Iowa. Marciano back for the Hawkeyes. That's so a let's check in. Marciano on the fly. 35. Boy, he's up there. In those kind of shoes. <laughs> Here we go now, after Iowa used the timeout, they have a first down at the 32. Smith and Watkins split out. Quick pitch to Hudson. And the Burley fullback to the 28-yard line of Michigan. A long six. Hartley back again. Complete to Stewart. Stewart makes the tackle and he's to the 20. And that'll be enough for a first down for the Hawkeyes. First down now at the 20-yard line for the Hawkeyes. Hartley to Hudson. Hudson dancing around. Gets the yard to the 19. To the near side. Smith also flanked out. Hartley back. Gets it off to Hudson. Hudson winds his way to the 15. First half. This is Richard Bass in motion. Give to Stewart. Stewart trying to get away from Grant, but Grant won't let him go. Of Jimmy Rogers, now the head coach of the Boston Celtics, the old 32-yard attempt. And this time, Skillets down the middle. Kingman and Doran to the left-hand side. Kulazar in motion. Goes nowhere. Jim Riley, head of broadcaster, broadcasting this game now. Second down, 12. Taylor. McMurtry tried to change direction. That would have been a great catch had he held on at the 35. Four points than you have right now. Third down and 12 now for the Wolverines. Bowles goes in motion. Taylor straight back. Pressure coming from Mott. Up the middle. The ball is loose. Michigan has recovered inside the 10, I believe. Let's see. Wait a minute. The ball may have gotten away. Looked like they had it. They're unpiling. Iowa says they've got it. Still waiting on determination. Boy, Mott and Haight came up, and Iowa's recovered. That's Dave Haight, number 64. I saw big Joe Mott, I think, again, number 97, coming off the corner, run right over an offensive lineman. I'm not sure, Gary, who the offensive lineman was. Now, here's the ball on the ground. He gets it. He's got it right there. Now, that's Tom Doring that had the football, but not accustomed to hanging on to footballs as an offensive tackle. It's muscled away from him. It looks like... So at the nine-yard line, a major opportunity now for Iowa with a 10-3 to lead. Hudson. Hudson straight ahead, a couple of yards, and that's all. Moves. Drives both crazy. Coming after him. Second to go, and oh. penalty flags are going to stop it. Much ground to defend. 
legal procedure against Iowa. Good execution. Mark Mazzari's check in. John Smith back to throw. Near side to the trip. And Cook knocked out of bounds just short of the five. Three wide out. Single running back is Hudson. A delay handoff to Hudson. Hudson. that touchdown from right down here on the field. Just a good delay, draw, trap, showing pass first and handing back. Quarterback will go back deep, big lineman backs it. Coming here, comes around here, number 63, pulling on that one. Jeff Croston to tackle position, working right up in there. Touchdown, good element of surprise, good execution. Boy, they really had misdirection on that play. Yes. 16-3 the score, Skillet to attempt the point after. He hit it, it's 17-3 to now. Trail in the series. But today, they're on top. Here is Bowles now at the seven. And Bowles gets out to the 24-yard line for Taylor now. Receivers wide left and wide right. McMurtry and Callaway in the game. High formation with Ford and Tony Bowles. This is Bowles. 25, 30, and that's a beginning point as he picks up nine yards. Place put out. Second down a yard and firing off. Stretnick, Stretnick having a tough afternoon. I'll guarantee you they get after it. <laughs> Dan Gable does. At the illegal procedure against Michigan, Bowles on a second and six. In motion comes Callaway, just short of the 35. The line is for Taylor as Dingman blocking ahead of him. Taylor taking off. So Riley up there, Jim Riley eventually made the stop. A pinch ne uh, nerve problem in his neck. That's what's been his problem all year. Elvin Foster comes in to replace him, and boy, there's just nothing going up the middle this time. Six, the last game's coming in here. Taylor on a third and three. And to the near side, was he inbounds? He was. The catch is made by Callaway at the midfield stripe. First down. Foster remains in at linebacker for Jim Riley. 16 left in the first half. Bowles seeking some running room and got some. There wasn't an awful lot up in front of him. You'll never know how much older. Second down, eight now. Taylor with time over the middle. Colazar dropped it. 40 yards. Taylor is getting some good protection, and he does again. McMurtry, he hangs on, and that is a very difficult catch. 52 career catches, 15-yard pickup. First down now at the 33 him. blitz. Taylor pitches back to Bowles. He's got the corner. 30, 25, 20, first down, and then some. Taylor again trying to get quiet. He looks back. The officials tell him to go. Now as he starts to do that, he's still pointing to him to go now. Bowles is having a fit. Yeah, because I'm going to tell you something. This is not a judgment call. No. You cannot tell him to take the snap. You're supposed to then go warn and the official. So I wouldn't snap it right there now, young man. Mike Taylor should bring his team back to huddle because pretty quick guys up in the line of scrimmage are starting to say, geez, was the snap count on one, two, or three? Were we running a draw or was it running off tackle? I don't know if Bo is grimacing or smiling on that last shot of him. Gary, I lost the football game on Monday night against my Army Dolphins in this very same situation. Delay a game of against Michigan. Uh -oh. Let's just talk about this a moment. We had Gene Calhoun, the supervisor of officials, and I he don't agree explicitly with that. told us that is not a judgment call. The official cannot make a judgment on how loud it is. No. He has to determine that they can't take the snap. Go ahead and put in effect the sequence that eventually penalizes the home team. I agree. I, I think, personally, John Nealon is making a mistake. They take a timeout away. The thing that they tried to do, as Bo was arguing, and let me explain why, now, he's got a personal foul, a penalty for unsportsmanlike kind of, but what Bo was arguing is the official cannot cannot make a judgment on whether the, the crowd, crowd is, is too out. loud. No, it's up to the quarterback. That's right. He doesn't want it. Because you have audible. Right. The wide receivers have to hear. Gotten away with it. Yeah. And that's a 15-yarder. Once, twice, and the third time, the official then goes to the home team and starts penalizing him if, in fact, the quarterback determines he can't take the snap. He's back to throw. Taylor, complete. It's Jeff Brown, the tight end, inside the 25. And in the first half, Taylor 
running the team. The crowd is excited a little bit. Taylor on the option. He'll cut it to the 20 and drop there. He's still going to be about 12 yards short of the first down. You're watching him on television like that. He knows what he's doing. Third down, 12. Taylor back to throw. McMurtry's got it inside the 10 5. First and goal. Hurt him. The 15 yard penalty against their coach has really fired this team up. Here's Taylor back to throw. He had to throw that one away. Tracy Williams. Taylor now changing the play, it looks like, at the line of scrimmage. Both Callaway and McCartney split to the top. Quarterback draw. Taylor diving. Touchdown, Touchdown. Michigan. This is when you have a quarterback, you don't need another guy in the backfield to run your draw. Now watch him go all the way back. Good blocking at the point of attack. Kick out by the fullback. And now he comes right back up. And look at the movement on the line of scrimmage from the offensive line. Very good movement. They took the defense and put him in the end zone. Seems as though the turning point of this game was when they had the 15-yard penalty called on Bo. <laughs> That's why he said he changes the tempo many times of his squad mentally. Right after 10 by Mike Gillette. Ken solemn holds, and now it's back to a seven-point game. Maybe they're resting him a little bit for the second half so he can throw more fits. Huh? <laughs> Quick kick going to be hauled in by Saunders. Mike Saunders brings it out to the 20-yard line. No guts, no guts. <laughs> From the 20-yard line, Hartley, well, they're going to be pretty conservative. This and it's going to work, too, because Stewart's got a first down, 35-40 to the 41-yard line. Remember now, Iowa has no timeout along with Stewart. You see the clock in the lower right-hand portion of the screen. That's what's left in the first down. Give to Stewart again. And Stewart is able to jam it out to the 45. In that situation, that's Alex Marshall, and you can. it's easier to run a draw. On second and six now, Hartley, and it's patted down. For 13 him, seconds left. Harberts, Watkins split out, and Hartley fumbles the ball. He got on it. I can stop a drive. Normally, though, penalties at the end of a football game usually don't determine the winner. Turnovers can kill you. That one turnover can kill you. Still it now kicking off as we begin the second half. Coltazar will let that one go out of the back of the end zone. From the 20-yard line, Michael Taylor will send Coltazar in motion. Bowles, Bowles, one, two, three yards. It's been tough to establish that running game. Uh, cornerbacks, everybody. Body everybody. on body, right? Body on body. Second down, seven now for the Wolverines. Taylor, play action, look out, down he goes. Brad Quas, number 35, third and 12 now for the Wolverines. Frazier coming from Mott, the ball batted up, almost intercepted by Ryland. Punting into the wind, too. Gillette had a 32-yarder in the same position earlier in the game, and the ball yeah, not hit well at all. No. At the 40, but it takes a Michigan bounce and goes to the midfield stripe. The first half is still in the locker room. Has to come back out. Give to Hudson, and Hudson's going to be stuffed on this play. A loss of a yard. Give us now the senior out of St. Louis at center. Yep. Second and 11. Here's Cook again. Cook is a load, isn't he? away from the pressure from Messner, dumps it off to Hudson, and Hudson draws the crowd. He'll be way short of the first down. Hunting from a tight formation. He's going to try to kick it for the corner. Hit it very well, and the ball's going to make it into the end zone for the touchback. We'll talk a little bit about that in a moment, about Taylor. First down, 10, give to Bowles. Bowles is able to get five, six yards out to the 26. Riley made the stop. We'll be back in a moment. 17-10, 10.57 to go in the third. Here is Bowles trying to get wide. Mike on the near side, and he makes it out to the 27. Three yards to go. Taylor on the option. That's Quast again. Brad Quast is as good as there is. Five, Marciano back. This one hit a little bit better. The Marciano coming up. Got it at the 41. 45, dropped at the 47. Hartley, as Smith and Harvard split out, goes to the shotgun. Same approach they used to start the game. Here's a screen. It's Hudson. That's the way they started the game, too. Throwing to Hudson, and Hudson to the 45. Stewart. First down. Audible, audible. 
Bartlett. Play action fake. Nope, he gave it off. Straight ahead. Here's Stewart. Stewart to the 22. First down, Iowa. First down at the 22. Hartley giving to Stewart again. Stewart inside the 20. Michigan. Hand off, second man, Hudson. Hudson inside the 15 to the 10. Foxhall, New Jersey. Stewart again. Picks up two. Minute fullback. Stewart hurdles to the five. And one of them is fast, Harbert is the other. Hardly. Hand off to Hudson. Hudson inside the five to the one. Fourth and goal at the one and maybe a quarter mark. Michigan held. The ball may have jarred loose, but either way, Michigan's got it. Stewart was the guy. He is shaken up on the play. Raises his point of exchange fumble. That happens an awful lot. Now we have Taylor executing the noise situation right. He got under the center, and he gets relief as they now stop everything, and they can go back and huddle up. Get under the center. He takes the center and goes nowhere. ...on that play than any other play a running back carries the ball, even in the National Football League. That wouldn't surprise me a bit. They're getting in as, you know, they spread out this time in a slot. McMurtry and Callaway split to the top of the field. Taylor's going to throw from the end zone. McMurtry's got it, and they've got a first down. It's a 15. It's a 15-yard line. Kodasar, Callaway split out. Michigan with a new life. Right out of there, the first is Bowles, and Bowles across the 30 to the 31. First down, Michigan. Taylor, the Bowles again, and Bowles out to the 40, about a yard short of the first down. Second down, make it two yards to go for the Wolverines. Brown comes in motion, back to throw. Taylor throwing deep. McMurtry over. Kemp get it. Good defense. Kemp and Smiley was the reason that ball was not complete at number 44. Full speed that way. So it's a third and two now for Michigan. That ball was in the air 50 yards. Bowles again. Bowles got the first down. Nice cut. He's to the midfield strike. Bowles now 110 yards on the afternoon. He's, gonna, he's audible in there. Bowles again, and Bowles holds to the 42 of Iowa. Pickup of eight, and Jim Johnson made the stop a year ago. Actually, Gator is playing in Johnson's place right now, 96. Second down to Leroy Horde, the fullback. He's across the 35 at the 33-yard line for Michigan. Boy, do they need him. Pipkins has checked in at a quarterback now for Iowa. James Pipkins. Back to throw, Taylor near side, Callaway, and Pipkins is over there to cover, but it's a catch for a first down to the 21-yard line. This drive, remember now, started from the one-yard line. Taylor to Bowles, flag on the play as Bowles is inside the 15 to the 14. Holding. First and 20 now after the penalty. Holding. Ford and Bowles in the backfield behind Taylor. This is Bowles. Kingman throws a block. Bowles cuts off of it. Gets inside the 30 to the 28. Go. Back to throw Taylor. He's in trouble. Gets out of it. Great scrambling effort. And stays on his feet inside the 25 to the 24. Now. <laughs> Third down. 13. Trying to come back from the holding penalty. The blitz coming. Taylor read it. Throws the Colas on. Down. Touchdown, Michigan. <laughs> safety blitz. And they're bringing people up inside. Man-to-man -man coverage. There's a the safety. There's... Merton Hanks, 45, getting up there. One-on-one -on -one coverage right here. And Colazar makes the play, beating Keaton Smiley, number 44. Remember, no help. 
I started to say, remember when he dropped that one earlier in the game? <laughs> he, he made up for one. That's a big one. Yes, sir. 24 yards, touchdown catch, his first catch of the day. His second touchdown catch of the season. Gillette's point after is up, and we're all tied at 17. A couple of weeks ago, and they didn't like it. And right now, we're all tied. This will be Saunders bringing it out for Iowa. Oh! And that's as far as he goes to the 21. End zone. From the 21 now, receivers wide left, wide right, Hartley back, gets off. This is Stewart. Stewart close to a first down as he crosses the 30. And down a yard to go, just across her own 30. Hartley from the shotgun. Our foot, 45 and out of bounds yards now on the catch. Harberts and Smith the wideout. First down at the 40. Short against Miami last year. Yeah. And that cost them the national championship. Second down for Hartley. Hudson the fullback. First down. 25. Turner number 61. A red shirt freshman. Second starting call today. Hartley back on a first down delay. Goes nowhere. Drops back into the shotgun. 13 14 left. Good protection. Cook can't get open and good coverage by JJ Grant. At times and also family and friends. Thank you, Arkansas. Gary. Blind. He doesn't make many mistakes. 17 all. 13 0 8 to Playing go in the game. Man. Deep drop. Hartwick now is going to take off. He's not going too far, too, but on the practice field the other day, he was hitting from there. He hit 148 last week. The kick on the way by Skillet, and it is not good. Skillet bouncing around in disgust and frustration. The average is only about 38% over five years. And Skillet wasn't able to make that one. No. So now, at the 34, Michigan has the ball. Ford, the fullback. Gets across the 35 to the 36-yard line, a gain of two. Second down eight. Taylor straight back. Got time. And McMurtry, again, seemingly always finding the open spot. Taylor to bowl, bowl, first to the outside. Goes out of bounds at the 42. Colazar, Callaway split out, second down now yards to go. Flag on the play as they stop everything. McMurtry, Colazar split to the top of the field. Taylor straight back. Hate comes up the middle and buries him in the ball up and incomplete. Taylor with a top rated efficiency in the Big Ten at quarterback. Back to throw a flag on the play. And coming back, Colazar makes the catch. Taylor is really throwing the ball well. I see why he's throwing 64% complete coming into this game. That's going to negate a 13-yard completion, the penalty. So we repeat the down. It would have been a first down, of course, had it all stayed together. But now it's third down. Back to throw is Taylor. And the big tight end, Walker, the intended receiver. Out as well. Both safeties are out. Gillette to punt from inside the 35-yard line. Marciano back deep. He hits it high. Marciano, who doesn't like to call for the fair catch, does. He disdains the fair catch, but he did at that time. Now, 10:37 left to decide the issue. Hartley one single running back is Hudson, and he gets to Hudson, and Hudson takes some punishment. Get him the shotgun. On a second and 11, Hartley in some real trouble, gets rid of it. John Smith with a catch, first down Iowa. And two, remember that. That's right. <laughs> first down after that completion, after the 29-yard line, Stewart. Stewart going no place. Second and nine from the shotgun. Over the middle, and this is Watkins, Travis Watkins. Missouri in at a wide receiver spot. Hartley throwing, and the Cook had it broken up, and that was Trip Welburn. Adams back to punt inside the 25, and he hit it high, but not very deep. Coming up, Colazar, and they almost interfered with it. He makes the fair catch at the Michigan 36, 27-yard punt. 17 all from Kinnick Stadium. Cali to snap the ball to Michael Taylor. Receivers wide left and right. 
the fullback. And Leroy Horde out of New Orleans, who split to the top of the field. Taylor, the bowl, bowl, taking that little slice of daylight. Oh, a they're back, they're back to wide receivers now. First down now to 47. Taylor to Horde. Horde protecting the ball, first across the 45. Close to another first down at the 43 of Iowa. Galloway split out. Six and a half minutes to go. Bowls again. Bowls for a yard, and that's all. No gain on that last play. Second down, 10. Horde again, and Horde inside the 40 to the 38. Burke on the stop. Second. Taylor back. And it's going to be the tight end, Jeff Brown, who made the catch, and it'll be a first down. He has been a starter three years for Michigan. Oh, the hand to Horde, and that is snuffed out in a hurry. Burke is there. Wiley is there. Wiley makes that play. Yep. Boy, that UCLA-USC showdown is getting closer. Second down, 12 now. Taylor falls down. Well, that was a flight of Hartley earlier in the ball game. Now it's a third and 16. They're going backwards. And now Taylor can't hear. So they will stop it. Now, you know, Taylor really understands it now, doesn't he? He gets under the center and being absolutely sure that he correctly does what he has to do to get the official to stop the clock. Now, Iowa's called a timeout. Right, the crowd is dead quiet now. They got their attention. Taylor back to throw. Near side. McMurtry back to the oh, ball. Makes the catch at the 20. And he's got a first down. Bat batted away by Smiley. That first, was good defense. First down, 19-yard line, Michigan. 3-0-3 to go in the game. Bowles protects the ball as he gets to the 16-yard line. So you normally will catch it inbounds. Second down, 7 down from the 17 of Iowa. Audible, audible. Taylor. The Bulls, Bulls on his feet to the 10, 5, 3, first and goal, Michigan. Inside. Tracy Williams is in that. This is Williams with the ball. Williams driving for the goal line, and he's going to be nigh the goal line about an inch or two. Three, second and goal. From the wishbone, Williams again. Williams is denied again. Melvin Porter, they're saying there's a fumble, and Iowa got it. Take it in. The first time just stopped short. This time the ball is jarred loose and we'll try to sort it out. Here it is now. It's an off tackle play. Kick out. Lead off here. Come up off tackle. Follow Jefferson, number 20. Uh, yeah, Jefferson. No, it's Tracy. Here it is. 36 Tracy. Good penetration right there by Foster. 66. It strips him from the football. And you know, Gary, the other point is that Tracy Williams hasn't been playing in the football game the whole game. Well, they carried it back to back. Yeah. And now, Iowa, with one timeout left, has it at the one-yard line with 1.21 left. A disappointed Michael Taylor. Hudson tries to get some operating room, brings it out close to the five. I always believe in those situations, you don't worry about what play you go, you just give the ball to your best football player. Hartley now giving off again to Stewart. Uh, here they're going to go to three receivers and split out. Watkins puts in the near side to Sean Smith. Hartley throwing far side. Catch made. First down out of bounds is Devin Harvick. All right. Three wide outs again. From the shotgun, Hartley. Can't find anybody. Chad gets it to Harvick again. Well, they're not going to get it done that way. He gets out of bounds about the 19-yard line. Did the collapsing the zones inside. Oh. What happened, what they say in the truck, Take a look, left hand corner of your screen. I think the receiver threw the ball at the defender. Oh my gosh. That is a ridiculous. I can't believe it. I don't know. 
it's not been a good day in some ways for the guys in the zebra stripes. There's a handoff now and out to the 10-yard line is Stewart. Fishing and spotter. Joel Feld, our producer, and Jim Jeanette, our director. Back to throw, Hartley, near side. Travis Watkins stays on his feet, gets out of bounds, stops the clock, first down. And Iowa still trying somehow to pull this one out. Hartley throws it over the middle of the field. Hudson catches the ball to the 35. Got to timeout. They get him down, four. Well, run it. Take it off. He's going to have to get out of bounds. It's a 46 and stops the clock with seven seconds. 46 from the shotgun. They send everybody out. Throw it. He's got to do it. The time has expired. He throws. Cook is down there. Incomplete. And we end up in the tie. Look at Chuck. He can't believe it wasn't complete. Well, they had a crack at it. That ball was up for grabs. Cook was down there, but he had two men around him. Veda Murray was the guy that looked like he got a hand on it. Twenty-seven. Also over there, defending on the play, was Rick Hassel and an extra defensive back. There is Messner and Hartley, two of the outstanding seniors in the Big Ten. Well, the Chevrolet players of the game, Chuck Hartley, 263 yards and a touchdown for Iowa. And Tony Bowles, 22 carries, 148 yards. 